Hello, this is Chaka Wilson to give you a quick podcast for Stumped Down the Lakeside here on Biz 99.9 FM Substitute Radio. Now, 12 last year, about 10 months ago, the International Cricket Council announced that there would be finally, after 17 years, an expansion of the number of test playing nations. It had been 17 years since Bangladesh had been included, and before Bangladesh it had been another 8 years since Zimbabwe was included and South Africa returned. So, from 1993 to 2017, which comprises 24 years, there had been just the one inclusion, Bangladesh, into the Test Cricket Nations. And now, finally, we have two new Test Nations taking the count from 10 to 12. We have Afghanistan and Ireland. Everyone was very excited to hear this news. Finally, the ICC had figured out that in order for Test Cricket to remain relevant and important across the world, it needed to expand beyond just the ten nations. It needed to look for new horizons, new players, new markets, new competitions. It constantly needed to think of ways of growing and expanding, becoming more important and relevant and exciting and growing and developing and maturing. And the way to do this was to introduce new test playing nations. And these were to be Ireland and Afghanistan. Now, as I speak, we have the first ever test match of Ireland taking place right now. Um, It is taking place in Dublin. It is Ireland versus Pakistan. Pakistan are touring the United Kingdom, they are touring Ireland, England and Scotland for a series of matches, and so the first test match to involve Ireland is happening in Dublin right now as I am speaking. It is still going on, and we don't know the result of what it will be, we'll just have to keep watching to find out. Pakistan batted first and declared at 310 for 9. And then they bowled out Ireland for 130 and they have enforced the follow on. So Ireland are batting for the second time and they are none for 30 with a deficit still of more than a hundred in order to force Pakistan to bat again. Now, of the players in the Pakistan team, two are making their test debut. Yasir Shah is not playing because he's still injured. And Safraz is the captain and Azhar Ali is still there and Mohamed Amir is still playing. On the Ireland side, 10 of the 11 players are making their test debut. The only one that isn't is Boyd Rankin. Everyone else is, including 39-year-old Ed Joyce, and Murta, and Portfield, and Sterling. 
they're all making their testaboos. It was not a very good start for Ireland with the bat, with all, with all their players making low scores, and it was only because the tail wagged that they were able to reach 130 in their first ever batting innings in Test cricket history, and so they only became respectable through some lower order batting. That's how bad it was throughout the first half. The Pakistan fast bowlers were able to get the ball, do all sorts of things, and the island, the Irish batsmen were not up for the challenge. Earlier in the match, we saw Ireland fast bowlers bowl particularly well and remove a number of Pakistan batsmen. Pakistan reached a 310 for 9 declared only thanks to some lower order batting, particularly from um, in the lower order, ne up in the lower order ba ba player nearly making a century. And uh, they were not doing too well before. Earlier on, they were five down for only a hundred and something, but they were able to build up a bigger score in the second half of their innings. So this looks like to be a very bowler-friendly ground, especially for the seam bowlers. They're doing a lot out of this. They're getting a lot of movement and leaving a lot of wickets. So it's a very bowler-friendly uh, wicket. Pakistan really had to work hard to get 310 as it was and then the Irish batsmen also struggled just as much so in both innings it's been the top order batsmen who have struggled and it's only once the ball becomes older that some type of batting is possible so we'll just have to continue watching the Irish second innings is still going they haven't lost a wicket yet, and so we're just going to keep an eye on things to see what happens. And we'll see whether or not Ireland can force Pakistan to bat again. It would be a, it's a huge uphill challenge for Pakistan to win this game, but they're still in it, they still have a chance. And we'll just have to keep waiting and keep watching and keep seeing, because uh, you never know what will happen after this test match is over. Pakistan then go over to England to play England in two test matches and some one dayers and then they go over to Scotland to play a couple of 2020s. So it's a large tour for Pakistan, quite a uh, workload and this test match against Ireland is only the very beginning. One of the things that's a little bit concerning is that according to the ICC fixturing there is no next test match for Ireland in the immediate future. The only games that Ireland have to play in the near future are a few 2020 games. As of yet, they have no more test matches or one day internationals to play for the rest of the 2018 summer. And that is quite concerning because it's been so exciting to see Ireland finally, finally, at long last, get to play Test Cricket and get to play a significant Test match against one of the most established and respected and elderly members of the international Test Cricket world of Pakistan. And despite this great beginning, despite this great opportunity, despite this honour of getting to play this first test match against Pakistan at their home ground in Dublin. You just have to wonder when Pakistan are going to play their second test match and how many test matches per year are they actually going to get? Are they going to get to play 10? Are they going to get to play 5? Or is it just going to be 2 or 3? Exactly how frequently are Ireland going to be able to play test matches over the course of these next couple of years now that they are an established test playing nation. In the near future, next month we're going to be seeing we're going to be seeing Afghanistan play their first test match against India, 
which is also going to be very exciting, and we can report on that at the time when it happens. So that's all I have to say for now, and we will continue to report on the situation and inform you of things as they progress further. Uh, this has been stumped down at the lakeside on Biz 99.9 FM Substitute Radio. I am Chucker Wilson. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll speak to you next time. Until then, goodbye.